Direction, choose your own path. Don't just wear anything. Wear garments that mean something. We got hats. We got sweatshirts. We got jackets. We even got hoodies. Let's not forget our classic tees. Direction choose your own path. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basic. Pay attention. Stay alert. And remember, choose your own path. Yes. What's Dana? What Dana with the payouts? What day is it? Yeah, just save it for credit if you want to drop somebody yeah. else. Or you know, I'll say this though. I'll say this though about oh, about uh about um about what women talk about. You know, they always think that um or they always say, What do you hear from women? Oh well, we can smell a guy with confidence a mile away. Oh well, he's got small dick energy. Oh well, he doesn't have enough money, he's broke because I can just look at him until I don't have to talk to him. Oh, um, well, he's this and that and this and that and the other sizing us up all the time without even interacting to us have a filter say oh well he's good he's bad he's this he's that we're talking about body count and the difference in behavior in between a woman who hasn't slept with a lot of dudes versus one who has and you're and it's like oh well you don't understand you don't get it how can you tell we give you the answers about how can we tell and then it's like well that doesn't matter well that's stupid so you just want to ignore what men like are, are thinking and saying over a period of all of our lives and interacting with you you want to, you want to, you want to be heard. Maybe, you want to be, you want us to hear you. You want us to hear you when you talk about small dick energy or confidence or this man needs to step up and do this and do that. But when we're talking about what we want, our standards, our requirements, or we want our women behaving this way and not that way. You want to get all heard about, about it. You want to make up excuses. You want to change the subject. We would say no, you don't. You want to just shake your head and not listen. If that's and not true, understand. we're not going to discredit it. If people walk up to you and say you have little dick energy or you lack confidence or you have like you, you seem like somebody I don't want to fucking talk to. That's between you and that woman. I don't have nothing to do with that. But people aren't generally making those statements about men walking up and down the street. Just like mm -hmm. men are not generally making statements about women walking down the street like, oh, yeah, she looked like she's mm -hmm. had uh, 27. Have you personally had a we hear you day. talk. Weird it's not a look. We hear you talk. It's, we talk you to you. Had no, a woman hear, say this no you hear them talking yeah. to you. You hear them talking to you. No, we hear you this talk in general. You. Say you have this ain't about me. Quit this making it personal. You don't have confidence. We're this talking about men and women. About men in general. Wow. wow. Talking about men in general. They're talking about you, my nigga. No, this you talk about you. me. You making it personal. I'm making it general. No, you're talking about your experience. No, 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 men have women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about men have experienced women. Men live I mean, with women. Not as our Is usual. that a serious you question? Is that a serious dick question? Dick what men have lived with women or experienced with women? Exactly. You notice how she was so against me doing personal against right, and she makes it personal. Now she makes it personal. We can't have a conversation about men and women because you want to make it about me. Lucky, lucky. Niggas with because confidence I don't ever hear you lack confidence or you have little dick energy. That's not what niggas with confidence or big dick it energy is. Is, is do women well, say do women, women say, say that dick. men have little dick energy and lack confidence? Do oh women say that? Do women right. say that? Do women right. say that? They do what they do. All right. All right. Let me clear. Let me be before y'all. Women, women say that. Like that. That's that's. Have you heard a woman say that in the history of humanity? Yes or no? Yes. Let's try that. I don't yeah. think I've ever actually heard someone say that. Okay, like, well, welcome to planet Earth. Women do say, that I met a fool with small dick energy. Please. I met a fool who lacked confidence. I met a fool who, who, was a, who was a clown who didn't have swag. He was corny. He was it this, he was like that. Trauma. He was not to my standard. Like We've heard BBD. women say this. BBD, but what? No, what they're right. saying like, is, this is a conversation that you've had with a woman and it's oh you're giving small dick energy you're giving broke nigga is 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 that are these are the conversations that you're having with people and it leads to this or like these no, are this is what you say you on your group chat this, this is, is what you this is what you women say talking about on the internet like internet talking I, points all around listen to what you are like a direct question ask a very direct question okay okay is that what women say to you in conversations 
No, they don't say that to me in conversation. It makes no sense. No. That's a bad question. A, wo a man is not calling a woman hoe in public. She is going back to, to the locker room after the Benny, basketball practice. And Trigger might catch me out, bro. No, Yana. You Yana. just call me a Yana, whore on the platform. You contradicted Yana, yourself. Listen. You did call no, me a whore no, on the platform. No, he's no, 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 not that. I'm not going to a date with a woman that says, man, she's a hoe. I'm going back I mean, home. What, what gave that? Can you listen? To, you can, you, can, you listen can you listen to me? Okay. Can you listen to me? What is happening is Trigger Mike is going to say, hey, man, you were very excited about that date with that girl. What happened? Nah, man, she was a hoe. Uh, just leave it alone. That's what happened. That, like, men are not going around. You are a hoe. You are a hoe. Like, we don't do but, that. Okay, so it's just in conversation. Date, what gave that she was a hoe? Because at some, at a certain point in time, she told you You're moving the goalposts. Stick on that. Stick on that I'll, I'll answer it. I'll no, answer it. Move, no, Dragon, don't bite. You do, no, no, no. If, she wants, if that's a no, legitimate no. question... If it's right. a legitimate no, question, no, I'll answer it. Because y'all make, a, make a message. Right. I'm, not, I'm not doing I'm it, bro. I'm just answering so, the question. She asked. Here's, here's the key. Here's the key. Here's what they said to Black Dragon. Whether you like it, understand it, accept it, believe it or not. Black Dragon, they saying that it sounds... They made it personal because it sounds personal. Because they saying that that shit gets said to you. Yana, even though she's being over-talked, saying it sounds like trauma when you're saying it. So have you had that experience? Are you speaking from generalities based on what you see on YouTube? That's who hurt you. No, 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 no. What I'm talking about when I talk about uh, knowing the difference between one woman with this body count, one woman with that body count is in person. Like, I don't right. meet people like personally on YouTube and say, oh, well, I know how you move because of this. So and that. where was it's the correlation with your last fact of this is what the bitches be saying? Oh, you give little dick and where did all that come from? That's what I'm asking. Like where, all where of like, like all of this is in your spaces that women talk, right? When no, you women, don't hold, say hold up, in hold, your up hold up, hold up. No, you cannot answer no, your no, question. No, I'm not. No. Hold don't hold say so, so you're going to ask a question, not let me answer it. Because I didn't ask a question. There, there aren't. Don't say mm. in your women's spaces because mm. it's not in all women's spaces. I'm around probably no one said three all. women. No one said all. Spaces. That's it. Yeah, can you go on shade room real quick and check the comments of every post, please, Ooh, real quick? Boy. If yeah. the women are not in in oh. the face, you are broke. Da 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 da. They will oh. go to their group chat with their seven ladies and they well, will sell the shit. Nobody's kind of got off. Let's topic. not belabor the point, man. Let's we're, not we're, the we're not trying to. What we're the only point we're trying to make is that we can tell yeah. the difference in body count from your a multitude of factors. It's one of them being most uh apparent is your language, your behavior, how you dress, what you think of men, and how you talk and describe about men. It gives it away. One does not talk about the other. Miss Five Body Count do doesn't even get the joke from Miss 50 Body Count. She's not going to get that. I know definitively they were talking about you when they said Little Dick Energy because it has nothing to do, like, none of this shit makes sense. So now you want to make it personal. No, now you want to throw saying, personal insults, right? It, it just doesn't, yeah. that's just not the type of conversations that go on. That's yes, weird. Yes, I know what women say. Women give black little dick energy. It's not something that comes that. off the tip of women's They're tongue. saying that they don't, they don't see it in their anecdotal group. So that's what I'm saying. It, so it because like they don't, person. hold on, hold on a second. Because y'all ain't saying a motherfucking thing. Okay. And it's, it's annoying as shit. I ain't gonna lie. So. She's just saying, listen, they don't see it in an anecdotal group. So they're saying if it happened in you, it must be because they were talking to you directly. That isn't normally how they see women be talking in their spaces. But then Fatty was saying, if you go to Shay Room and look at the comments, they saying little dick energy, this, that, and the third. Right? So it's out here in the public. So Black Dragon said he's not, it doesn't mean it had to happen to him for, for him to understand that it happens. That's it. That's Lucky yeah, was that's popping. It. That's it. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. What's goody? I'm good. I'm just trying to catch up on the conversation. So it seemed like we talking about body count and little dick energy. Am I getting it correct? Mm. No, we kind of went off oh, the yeah. race. Laura, I don't even know how we got there. And we left. I think somebody was well. unpacking trauma. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we... I mean, language again. Here we go. What? Right. I mean, it started out with does body count matter, you know, and, and to Dana, I want to ask, like, what makes you or why do you not believe that we care about body count? Like, what makes you think we don't believe or don't care about it? I'm, I'm going to um, I'm going to give this to Lucky. Lucky, the question is on the table. Do you think that men care about body count? 
Oh, absolutely. You why said why absolutely? Not? Yeah, absolutely. I think because um, even from like cousins and stuff, I've always heard it shows the behavior. So um, it's, it's not necessarily like, you know, those women who say, oh, this is in my past. It's more so it shows a track record of how promiscuous you are, or how loose you could be in a situation. And that behavior and that mindset doesn't just go away. So I think it matters, but I think there's no way to determine what her body count is. So I think behavior matters above all because you could have a high body count and based on the way you conduct yourself, the way you articulate yourself in the rooms you're in, nobody would probably know. You know what I'm saying? You're necess- and you have the women who get told that they have a high body count just by the way that they dress. And that's not accurate. You know what I'm saying? So I would say the behavior matters more than body count, but men would say body count matters, but there's no way for them to know what your body count is. And and look, just to clarify, because that, that's a good point. Do you believe that it's less likely for her body count to match her behavior? Or you think it's more likely that her body count would match her behavior? So I understand. I understand you clarify possibilities, but let's say, what's the probability of things? Um, I would say it's environment. So, let's say you have the the woman At, who Atlanta. I would say yes, or I'm from South Central. I would say yes, but if you are a woman who, let's say you're a businesswoman, that doesn't mean you don't get around, but you carry yourself a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not. Your environment doesn't uphold that. So I think it's based on environment, how people act based on the terminology they use more so, you know what I'm saying, their body count. Okay, so they they had sex with a lot of men. You can't make a determination whether or not her conduct is going to show that. It's strictly based on what she does for work, where she lives, who she's around, etc. I would say, yeah. So, then, say the conduct, yeah. so then the conduct point kind of gets... It gets eradicated by that then, right? If 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 we're saying her environment matters more than the amount of bodies. Well, I think... How, go ahead. I, are we saying conduct because I use the word behavior? Yeah. Okay, so when I say behavior, I mean what you do when nobody's watching continuously do, that's your behavior. Whether or not, pe- whether or not you wear it, you can mask it well. That's still your behavior. I think once somebody gets close enough to you or like your friends or like things like that, then they can probably size your behavior. But as far as if she's wearing her whoreness, that and how she wears it to say, oh yeah, this is a hoe and this one isn't, it's all based on visual. You know what I'm saying? So to mm-hmm. determine that without getting to know somebody is based on how they portray it. But you would have to actually be in a personal setting with that woman to determine if her behavior is whole like or not. You get what I'm saying? So you could still have a behavior that does not display to everyone else, just like on these panels. People could put their best foot forward. That doesn't mean that their behavior is not showing or sometimes people behave in ways for attention. That doesn't mean that they're actually doing those things. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I say understand. That. It's sounding a little bit semantical to me. Okay. Because it's, it's saying it's only in private that you can, you can tell what her tendencies are. Yeah. I just don't I that that would that would break down trigger Mike's uh point. well that's the best assessment it, it's not the only one but it's going to be the best one you know who you are when nobody's looking is probably who you are, that is yeah. who you are. Yeah. so I would just ask how how are men what are they looking at to determine it's a hoe habits like what like yeah. describe a habit that would say oh that's a hoe that's what I said other, what than, other than having sex Un- unsettled okay go ahead no i was gonna say definitely going out every night because that's one of my problems with dealing with women it's like a lot of women i meet because i was in the bar scene so a lot of girls i was meeting are at the bar and then you realize when you're trying to maybe potentially build a relationship with a woman like that she's a continuous part of you like she's she's going out every night she's going to atlanta she's going to miami she's doing a lot of stuff that i i'm just not willing to lock down so at that point, I'm looking at it, right? That's that's not that's not quite what my I don't think that's what Mike was alluding to. So let me give you guys this analogy, see if this helps. So I used this before, right? Football is the only thing that makes sense in every situation. Y'all should play football if you got a chance. No, so there's not even real football. <laughs> so if I go into a bar, right? Look, everybody, and there's two cats talking about football, 
within 20 seconds i know if they play football or not i know if they actually understood football when i'm around cats that like wasn't getting no cheeks it, it's a difference so what mike's saying is there's a difference it ain't about when you get in her bedroom there's a difference not even the shit that twizzy said it's just a difference cats who played cats who didn't play cats who's getting cheeks cats who weren't so wouldn't it be just to say so if you take a woman on a date wouldn't it be the 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 way she have conversations it would be body language it would also be how soon from this date is she willing to fuck me right mm -hmm. so what based off this date was there a build up to us getting to know each other before this date and she fucked me or is this just hey pull up you know what i'm saying i think that would determine when i say a personal setting because out and about i wouldn't say a girl going out every night or going out means she's a hoe i think because men look at certain things and say hey she's a hoe they're dismissing women who aren't actually hoes just because we're in a society where women can wear the same clothes as someone else you get what i'm saying so i would say then you have the women who i would know that i work with some they dress very respectful but those women are ratchet as hell you get what i'm saying so it's like if you're if you're dismissing women based on them going out and i'm just using it as an example but you can have i, I would say if, if it's based on conversation and as you're getting to know that person whether it be on a date how soon can you fuck and i wouldn't even I, that's only a percentage of that because she could fuck you on the first night and may not fuck him so look what do you what do you, i understand but you're saying everything <laughs> meaning meaning what you just mentioned was how can you deserve, determine by getting in her bedroom? I'm saying you don't have to necessarily lay down. It's the conversations you're having. So if we're dismissing women just off them going out, that means you're not even opening the door to have a conversation. You get what I'm saying? I understand going strictly that. based off visual. I understand that point. But if Twizzy's looking for um, a, a wife and he's a bartender oh. or a bouncer and she in the middle of the club from 10 a.m. 10 p.m. to 3 a.m., is that the environment exactly does she not I mean, deserve why would twizzy be looking for a wife at the bar well no i'm but, just but, saying that's where i'm meeting women that's but, the place i was around on, twizz, but look that's what i'm saying you saying everything he's not gonna have a conversation because of the environment she's in but you just said he should at least have a conversation but that he but then see you're saying you're saying everything Right, okay, because, okay, let's just take this in mind. Look, look, if look, I'm slow for, down, I, low down. I am, I'm going up with you guys. You sleepy, girl, go ahead. I'm not. So if he's saying I'm looking for a wife and my environment is the bar, then I would have to say based on his, and off his analogy, he's going to be passing up 90% of the women in there because they're going to dress a certain way and they're there to have a good time and they probably dance and twerk and do all of that. So if you're if you're going based off that to say this person is a wife, I have to check the environment you're going in, unless you're gonna take her outside of that setting to see how she. Act. You get what I'm saying? What if she yeah, frequents that environment though? That, that's that's not, more what I'm talking about. Yeah, but with all the respect, you guys, you guys are the with all the respect. You you guys a lot of times woman know that he's a piece of shit dude, and you never fuck him, you never talk. Like you can see his presence on social media. How does he move? How he talks about sex? How he talks about woman? You actually can get a fair assessment even before talking with your fucking because again, women are dressing like hoes, posting on social media like hoes. They are doing a lot of things that even without opening their mouth, just for me to look at your social media presence. If you have 3,000, 7,000, 10,000 followers, promiscuity and whole behavior usually is tied with attention seeking behavior. You. you usually quickly find out, okay, is this woman an attention seeker? If she's an attention seeker, she's looking for man validation and she's probably going to suck his dick more times than not if the guy is valuable enough. We don't have a hundred percent proof she's conservative, she's a hoe. There's a lot of librarians, teachers that are hoes and dress conservative, don't have social media, not nothing. We're just saying on a balance of probabilities, there's going to be external factors that are going to show you that she's a hoe way before you actually talk with her and she been on a nightclub on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, shaking their ass like usually is a very fair um and, uh, metric to consider yeah. a hoe. And then and we're saying, and we're saying that's, that's oh, let me add to his point real quick. Let me add to his point. 
the I, way I, men I, hold on, hold on. The, the way men get better at this is if you're gonna get if you're single and you want to get better at having sex with women you're gonna understand all of this outright you're gonna have to understand how to differentiate the hoes from the good girl the girls that fuck quick and the girls that don't there are dudes that can literally go out every night and sleep with a new woman so they have discernment on these are the ones that go and these are the ones that say no you get better at it with age um the attention seeking behavior is like literally that's like a hundred percent in some way shape or form whether it's uh overt or covert okay. she okay. will have some kind of attention seeking behavior it's a gift. that uh, that I'll also so i'm going yeah. all over the place but i'm trying to understand everybody no hold on hold on let me let me land this one um right. so i've crazy. noticed that these women are willing to engage in explicit conversations oh, the hell they do things like send unsolicited nudes because i think you want to you you'll develop a profile on a woman that's why it might take a little time but no, it, 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 like well, we're talking about like women, well, sir, we are like this first thing that what he said was like when he meets women at the bar. Women? Yeah, but I mean, where are we meeting these women? women? That's what I'm saying. You're not meeting these women. You happen to meet up with these women or go uh, book past these women in these places, common places. But you're basing it off of well, I met this woman at a bar, talked to her, and she seemed like she was a little, a little doing the most. No, that's not even what I said. I, it's not even about talking to her. It's about seeing this girl every weekend at the same bar, getting drunk and passing out at two o'clock, and like that's the type of girl that you know. Yeah, and, and like you said, that's right. easy. That's yeah. easy, of course. What you said? He worked, he's working bar? there. He was working yeah, in the. Working working but that's not. I'm not right. talking about that. that. We I'm like talking the same bar. Something. We like the same Daddy, bar. I, about say, about even still, I go it, to bars. Yeah, go to the same Daddy bar. The, 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 the bar so might be the conversation. My conversation with you off of a, a bar conversation. The reason yeah, I brought up the bar is because where do you meet women? One second, one second. Hey, one bar, second, please. What are y'all talking about? The, the, the problem is that the and bar is the lowest. Not going past the bar. Can we have a serious conversation instead of a yeah. gotcha moment? The bar right. is the lowest. One second, please. Let me just finish you. Let me finish so you can understand. He used the bar as an example, but knowing women and how they actually discuss and argue is a bad example because they're going to use that as a lower common denominator. Why are you looking at women at the bar? You should know better. Like, so let's forget the bar. Let's for, exactly. let's go to the church. Let's go to the park. Let's go right. to the but library. At the church and at the park, the you are having different example. type of conversation. That's my point. The setting prompts the conversation. At a bar, me personally, if I engage with a nigga at a bar and we're gonna have a conversation, nigga, you're buying my drinks and I'm not talking to you after I leave. Simple as that. But if That's I prefer to have a conversation with you after, I'm not about to talk to you this whole time I'm at the bar. Sliding you my number or my business card and I'm keeping it pushing. And if you would like to meet up with me further and get to know me further, then you're going to move accordingly. If you know okay. that's fine. Is it different at the grocery store or anywhere it's else? Same thing at the grocery store. I pass really? out my business card everywhere. Business so that's card. what I'm saying. So, so it doesn't there's matter no where you are. So then so why the would point. that matter? That's the point. Yeah, I don't know what. Uh, that's the point. the point. I don't know no. what everybody's arguing. I'm trying to let it play out, but it's terrible. I'm more still the, saying there are examples the, the, the of the type of women lost. you don't want to date, and it's easy to see. Certain the, places are going to show you that. Certain situations are going to show you that. And certain actions that these women take are going right, to show you that. You're not going to have the same conversation with a woman at a bar that you're going to. You're not going to ask the woman the same question that you're going to ask her at a bar, at a church, <clears throat> or at a park. Yeah. Why? yeah. This is not if you're having a conversation. Wrong. No, because this is not based on the first encounter. As soon as I get my phone number, I will talk with you the same way I talk with the girl in the library. Hey, where are you? Where are you? What's your age? What you've been doing? Can we settle a date? It's not about that. And yeah, let me let, like the same way you probably and this is speculation, right? But for a woman, the same way a woman can like a woman doesn't become a hoe because she did once uh, she met a guy once in a club and she fucked. A hoe is a pattern of behavior. She repeats that shit over and over again. It's not like I met you in the library. Now you suck on the really goody goody two shoes woman. No, I will see you how you act. I will talk with you and I will see this. Is this a pattern of behavior? Are you goody goody two shoes all the time? Or are you just dead because I met you in the library? It's not the same thing. Like, Daddy, it's a real, pattern of behavior. Go ahead. real quick, Fatty. The reason, but the, the patterns are often hard to um, vet right because you may not know her whatever the case is yeah so do you think that this is viable let's say you my man's right mm -hmm. and I, I and you meet a chick 
and you saying, yo, I met Sherry, right? Oh, some old name that nobody named. Shout um, out Sherry Berry. Sherry Berry. I'm feeling her. I said, oh, I seen her at the club last week. I took her home with me. Hmm. First night. Guess yes. what she is now? A hold of both of us. Yes, but that's the, that's what the best way to predict the future is to look at the past. What this seems like is what, like he's trying I'm to say it's the one night yes. encounter. Oh, let, me, let me go back to you. Already. Go yeah, ahead. let me go back to you. Let me go back to you. Huh? Like what Lucky seems like he wants is a like a definitive answer. How can you guys tell if she's a hoe when there's hoes on this and there's hoes on that? And what I'm telling to you is that there's no way to define a hoe, but the best <laughs> way for me to predict the predict the future is to look at the past. And if she went with M on the first day, for whatever reason, I assume it's not the first time she did that shit, and I assume it's not the last time she's going to do it. So I'm going to put her on a old category even though i have no track record or whatever she's going on that's how many we will this is probability it's possible that she's not a hoe and mp so special that she gave it up on the first day possible is it possible P probable absolutely not yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, so yeah. the conversation is everything um i talk i mean i just didn't do a lot of talking but when you talk to a, a, a woman who's who's um, younger, or well, me being my age, you talk to a woman who's younger, you know she's uh, she doesn't have a, a plethora of experiences because her range and how she answers a question is limited to, I don't know, well, that's a thing. Oh, da, 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 da. So when we're talking about a woman with a low body count, it's relatively the same thing. You're not going to get every single thing that comes out of your mouth if you've had so much experience, right? They're just not going to get the joke. They're not going to get the innuendo. Versus one woman, a woman who is more promiscuous, who who's not only going to get the joke, but has several jokes of her own. Um, there's uh, how she looks at and perceives men. It's uh, whether or not she's looking for a man or men, or if she's talking to a man or men. Um, it's talking about how she dresses. Does she dress to mostly get attention all day long? Because if she's getting attention all day long, she's still on the market. If she has a boyfriend, or you know she had a boyfriend, but she cheated on him anyway. There's a telltale sign right there. We get to know you over a period of time. It is not a, hi, how are you doing? Yeah, you're a hoe. Yeah, you're not. That's not how this works. And that's not what any man up here is saying. What we are saying is we get to know you by listening to how you talk and refer to us men. You're dealing with a man or you're dealing with a group of men, more than one man. This is my food date. This is my uh, child care date. This is my baby daddy. Da -da 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 -da. We, we know uh, how you act and behave toward one man, you can project on into others. Unfairly, my, my dad, oh, well, all men ain't this, all men ain't that. We know where you come from by the language that you use, how you dress, how you perceive men, and, and how you talk to us. You know so um, much about yeah. women for a nigga who ain't getting no pussy, it sound like to me. Who said he ain't getting no, no pussy? Dana, please, come on now. Don't. Add no, 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 Add it's fine. No, it's it's fine. Mike, Mike, uh, do you know Do you know she's the first person to, to tell me to my face, like, honestly, hey, man, you just you just like got a low body count. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'll take it. I didn't say you I mean, had a low yeah. body count. Yeah, I mean, you said I wasn't getting any pussy. That must be a low body count. Not today. I told you Not that today. too, baby. I know, I know, I know, but hey, I'll I'll take it as a win. Yeah, you know, I if I don't, if I don't have that look, you know, I'll take, take it. it. I corrected take it, it though. Take it win. No, let him take his win. Take your win. Yeah. Well, I had to correct it once I got the info. I mean, that's but, really how it is, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, he ain't lying. Yeah, you see, exper we experience you like all day long at work at the gym. We see the don't, same girl at the we see the same girl at the gym. We see the same girl at, at the barista. We see the same girl at work. We see the same girl at the grocery store. <laughs> we we experience you all day long, and then we can tell. Us. You're not dating us. You ex you're no, around but he's us. saying your your character shows you from your actions. You, you in the same fucking? So we both get ice cream, and now you know what the fuck is on my mind. Are you kidding me? No, no, no one is. No one said that's exactly what. what no one said y'all love to so tell now us we know you exactly now we know you don't listen no, i'm not done i'm not done y'all love to tell us exactly what we think y'all love to tell us exactly how we feel y'all love to tell us exactly how we act and y'all don't know a motherfucking thing and that's very evident by the way you we kind of do we kind of do we do we're listening to you we know, we know because we confront women or we well experience. we get y'all to have sex with us we know a lot about y'all we know a lot about y'all yeah if y'all are the, no if y'all are the ones always being duped 
If y'all are the ones always getting taken so, for so a here, ride. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Wait, I don't, wait, know, wait, what wait, world, I don't know what world you live in where you think that your men and women live on planet Earth together for generations and you think you understand us and we don't understand y'all. Like, where do you I live? Understand you. I don't understand you. I don't understand you. All right. All. Let me say this. Let me say this real quick, please. Uh, tell a friend and we out. Oh!